So, um, guys, I don't have a preamble topic. Right. But, Which is a shame because we just spent ages talking about Wasteland there. Yeah, we could have, we, we could have done Wasteland. <laughs> um, I do have a preamble game for us to play. <laughs> what? Right? <laughs> so, have you ever watched uh, the new Leeward game? <laughs> I haven't watched it, but I know of it. So it's like, who is most likely to blank? Yeah, and then you... Yeah. Right. So we're going to do that with the Bash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> so... Um, let, and obviously Nick is not here to defend himself so let's be nice to <laughs> nice about this so I have a couple of select questions here who is most likely to blank and then we'll take turns in answering who I, who we think is most likely to blank alright okay <laughs> out of the bash bros alright so oh, I will start with you as the first answer or first answering and then Alex and then me and then we'll kind of rotate around so I, I, out of the bash bros who is most likely to get a freaky tattoo it's gonna be Nick, right? Like he already has tattoos. Yeah, that was kind of my thing as well. It's probably Nick. Is Nick the only one with tattoos? Yeah, out of us four, yeah. Unless yeah. you've been hiding something, Alex. No, I'm, I, I hate needles. So <laughs> Hans also hates needles, right? I do also hate uh, needles. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. See, Alex. see, he learned so much about us in this. In this, like, yeah, <laughs> right. Yep. It's like we're newlyweds. Um, Alex. Who is most likely to get arrested in a foreign country? Probably Hans. <laughs> I would also say Hans. Yeah, I thought that too. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that too. Hans, I, I mean, was like, did you not fall asleep me. in a phone box in the city centre? Por- that, that was a porch shirt. <laughs> so, like... I, I 100% I would get drunk and I would get arrested for something in a foreign country. Like, easy. Yeah. 100% easy. Like, I, I, I'm more likely to get arrested in my own country. Like I feel, I, I always remember whenever, uh, like you know, years ago, whenever uh, we went to was it, was it Spain, Hans? Mm-hmm. And I remember yeah, being yeah. randomly checked um, <laughs> at the airport. I hear, I feel like there's air quotes in that <laughs> when you said that. Um, who is most likely to survive a zombie apocalypse? I would say Alex. I do have a plan. Yeah, that, that, you look like a guy who would have a plan for a zombie <laughs> apocalypse. Who do you think? Uh, I'm going to say me, actually. I would say it's between myself and Iowa. Well, uh, why? Okay, I, why? What's your reasoning behind it? Between you picking yourself? Like, you know, I, I've, uh, you know, I've. I, <laughs> I, he can cook. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I have like a basic survival skill. <laughs> and I think I would. I don't know. I feel like having used a knife for so long. Like I don't. Uh, I, you, you've got some skills. Yeah, no, I don't, no, no, it's yeah. not even skill. It's just like, like feeling okay with like stabbing something fleshy. You know what I mean? Like, ah, okay, but, okay. But are you talking about the zombies or other humans here? This, this is... Humans are the worst enemy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to be prepared. If the Walking Dead has they taught us anything, like, humans are the real monsters. Like any post-apocalyptic media, like humans are the worst yeah. part of it. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, that's true. Um, who is most li- <laughs> who is most likely to go on a killing spree after a bad day? <laughs> <laughs> Alex. <laughs> what? I think there, there's this deep seated rage inside <laughs> you just waiting to explode out of you. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I feel like, you know, whenever uh, Nick, you know, doesn't do so well in a game of League of Legends or whatever, like, he gets pretty mad, you know? He does get pretty <laughs> like, mad. Yeah. But Alex has a car. And, <laughs> and Alex also be... has, like, a bump in his car, right, Alex? Right? There's some damage. Hey, there is some damage. There is some damage, yes. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know where that came from. Like, you know, it's maybe... <laughs> hey, man, neither do I. I didn't have it that day. Because <laughs> you were so blinded by rage. Exactly. <laughs> that was his uh, That was his alter ego in his own head. <laughs> <laughs> um, who is most likely to offend millions on Facebook? Hans. Fuck <laughs> 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 you. I mean, you're not wrong, but fuck you. I like I like the unison there. That was yep. <laughs> um, 
Who is most likely to start their own weird religion? I Y. You're charismatic enough to be a cult leader. Hey, yeah. hey, yeah, you're like. I, I, I think it's Alex, really. Yeah, yeah. I think. No, no, no. You could put like, chemicals in like, your like, food. What do, you th- what do you think he's doing in all this free time he has? Like. <laughs> Uh, Man, <laughs> he's just building up a cult. <laughs> hey, That's I would good. be minted if I did that. Yeah. Well, you're not working, are you? Are you know? Rich. So, <laughs> hey, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Um, who is most likely to build a sex dungeon? Hans. Hans. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean, most likely? I already have one. <laughs> okay, fine, 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 fine. Nick, Nick then with his new. Hey, you said yeah, build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like I, got, I already got one, yeah. It's, it's like an addition. Oh, it's the extension <laughs> of the sex dungeon. <laughs> My sex dungeon gazebo. Uh, I already know what the answer to this was. Who is most likely to get kicked out of an orgy? Oh, wait, I want to hear your answer first, Hans. What? It's big. <laughs> 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 yeah, I got, yeah, yeah. Um, Fondling too many balls, Hans. Oh, here's one. Who is most likely to become a WWE wrestler? Uh, me, obviously. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the one guy who's uninterested. <laughs> I am torn between Nick or Alex. I would say Nick's have, more... I don't, yeah, but, like, you, but you both have like that wrestler look. Him with the stupid hair. <laughs> you with your like stupid manly hair. like beard and hair, long hair. I think he's coming on to you, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do actually look like a wrestler. I, I would say Alex. Like, but I am thinking, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like big old Killian Dean. Yeah, yeah, he looks very similar to me. So, um, he is most likely to make a sex sexist comment in public. Hans. Yeah, I got it, guys. I'm an asshole. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, welcome to the Not So Super Bash Rules Presents Game Club for September 2020. Yeah, baby! Game Club is back, the monthly video podcast review thing where we take turn picking games, go play them for the month, and come back to discuss them for your listening pleasure. This month, I picked Telling Lies from Sam Barlow and Annapurna Interactives, the interactive film question mark originally released in august 2019 as ever i am your host telling lies nick davis oh i see what i did there i see what you did there i see what you did there oh yeah 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 uh joined as always by fabricating fibs alex proudfoot you're not introducing hans davis he's dead okay (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> he, he got cancelled for saying Spoilers. something offensive on Facebook and producing pork pies IY Chang love me some pork pies see what I did there uh-huh. as well <laughs> Tell, telling lies IY Kurt God, Nick, Nick needs to get on my level guys that's all I'm saying um, yes no Nick is not here this week he's dead <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't joke about that that's a terrible thing to say Hans um, why did you pick Telling uh, lies. Yeah. Uh, before we go any further, why do you keep, why do you keep telling lies, of, lies about Nick? <laughs> yeah, so we should probably address the elephant in the room. No Nick this week. Uh, Nick has moved house. He's an adult. So, yes. Yeah. So, so, round of applause for Nick for moving house. No, 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 guys. Uh, right, Nick, who, always, Nick always likes one clap. It's just, it's oh, just sorry. the. Right. <laughs> just, Hans, delete that bit. Alright, <laughs> All right, guys. Count down from three in your own time. <laughs> and then clap, okay? Okay, this is gonna be an absolute Let's shit show. <laughs> sure. Right, okay. Let's go. Okay, like three in our head, or just yeah, three in your head, like three in your head, and okay, then clap. Right, right. So, <laughs> <laughs> nailed it. That's for you, Nick. That's for you. <laughs> yes. So Nick has moved house. Big, big proud uh, homeowner. Uh, doesn't have internet because he fucked up his internet. <laughs> 
<laughs> but proud of, but you know, responsible enough to own a house. So good for him. <laughs> um. So yeah, I am in charge this week. You are fucked. <laughs> But Hans, and so Hans, yeah. why, why did why you, did pick, you pick Telling Lies? <laughs> well, Hans, let me tell you why I picked Telling Lies. Um, so the reason I picked Telling Lies was just because it's a relatively quick game to get through, and we had played quite a lot of games. It was like 20 plus hours, so I thought, you know what? Let's, let's just chill, guys. Let's take it slow. Let's take it easy. Let's play a game that's like, if you really blitz it, you can knock it out in an hour. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is why I picked telling lies but as ever i have split i realize that that makes no sense because i ripped this directly from a previous episode <laughs> and it says as ever but i never do this so as never i have split this into three categories and what are those categories hans number one gameplay nice number two story and, ca- and characters Oh, and number three, what makes a good FMV game? Good question. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. You're welcome. See, we're so much nicer when Nixon not about. I know, right? It's great. It's almost like he brings out the worst in all of us. <laughs> before we start, <laughs> before we start, I pose a question to you. Yep. How far did everyone get? I myself completed it. Alex. I also completed it. And I was. I got stuck. I so, what? so I got to the last 15 minutes. You know, that checkpoint, the 445, yeah. right? And yeah. I could not find the video to progress forward. <laughs> and I literally just before this, this uh, like an hour or so ago, I was like, you know what? I'm going to sit down here and just like, you know, put a little search terms and just like, flick my way through and I could not find anything. So I believe to get the last video you need to search the names. I think I used the name of the cam girl. Like her full name. Okay. To get the, not, not, her, the, not her cam girl name. The suicide video. That was like but like I barely watched any of their interactions. So, yeah, like <laughs> that. That does that actually kind of brings you to all the game gameplay points. But we'll get to that when we get to gameplay. Um, or is it? Would it be story? I don't know. Let's find. Let's find out. Let's let's That's, travel this path yes. together, guys. Let's go. So, category one, <clears throat> gameplay. Yep. So, Telling Lies provides a player with numerous video segments that in the game's narratives cover a two-year period and which have been stored on a stolen hard drive taken from the NSA. The player has the ability to search the hundreds of video game segments, uh, or sorry, video segments on keywords as they piece together timelines, events, interactions, all to understand why the four central people have been subject to electronic surveillance. Guys, what genre would you call this game? Because I struggled. <laughs> like It's FMV, so- isn't it? But FMV is a style of game. It's not a genre of game. Whoa. A genre is like how you would approach mystery. A game then I call like I almost like can compare May- it to the likes of like an interactive film. Like I know I said interactive film earlier. I would but- say mystery slash thriller mystery kind of thing. Yeah, is, is it so not a puzzle someone- game? That is hard because so. Yeah, I, ga- could, I could see the argument for a puzzle game. For puzzle. Yeah. yeah, like you're you're kind of. But is it a puzzle where you're just randomly selecting words and sticking them in the it's, search bar? It's about finding the words though, because you could technically put any word in, but it only shows five videos, so mm. you need to find a way to get past. Like I think it shows you in date order, so you need to yeah. find a way to get the later ones. Yeah. Mm. Like so, I kind of read up on this because I'm I did research and I'm a professional. So the guy himself who made this game, uh, what's his name, Sam Barlow, he called it a desktop a desktop thriller, and I was kind of like, is that a thing? That's not a like, thing, like, right? It, no, it's a, I would say <laughs> like, thriller but, is like, a but, thriller's like, fine. Thriller is fine because, it, but it, you say that it's a pretty are, like crazy story, but. You say that, but there are games like this now. 
So obviously there was a, a her story, which was obviously again Sam Barlow doing that. But there's been other games since who have taken this on to the point where is this kind of a genre? So Jam Bomb did a quick look. Uh, God, it was ages ago. I can't remember what the game was called, but. You are in possession of a dead girl's phone and you can flick through the phone, you can message her contacts, you can look at her group chats and stuff. Like you like the entire narrative is told from the point of view of what information you can gather from her phone. Is that not so, like, an old one? It's a relatively old game. It's not it's not but it's like it's between her story and telling lies that that came out. I just can't remember what the fuck it's called for the life of me. I think um, I think I've seen that before. But to me, like, has this then become its own genre? This idea of like, well, I was, I would say it's, desktop a, it's an interactive mystery thriller kind of thing. Oh yeah, like it's it's very much a case of like it's interactive, like. But like, I think if it falls into the genres, like the FMV tag, along with mm-hmm. like a mystery thriller or even puzzle, like mm-hmm. as I always said, because. I think puzzle describes what you have to do in this quite well because it is just a series of puzzles. Yeah, it's it's finding those keywords that are being mentioned throughout and making a note of them, being like, hmm, maybe I'll try Snow White. Hmm, maybe I'll try this bridge. And like bookmarking certain videos and all that. Yeah. Um, I like that stuff at the start, and then I just gave up taking notes and just like watch the videos. <laughs> So that's kind of the thing as well, like of this kind of style. Um, so this is a much longer game than her story, although the gameplay is very, 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 very similar. Um, and boy, I felt like the actual gameplay, like idea of it, really wears thin after a while compared to her story. I never played her story, so I can't really comment on that. So, like to me, like her story is like literally about you knock it out in a couple of hours. This one is at longest if you hit every single note five to six hours um there's only so many times you can type a word into a search bar and it'd be like and like not get what you're looking for and before you kind of get to a, how you type the words you can have just kind of like you do get to a point where it's kind of like man fuck this you can highlight the words <laughs> and click it um pro i tip, just think highlight the tip. words in the, the subtitles <laughs> peter's pro tip yeah uh, <laughs> Oh my god, we're gonna make that a show. <laughs> make that a show for the channel where you just tell pro tips for um really shitty games. <laughs> um But overall, how did you find so you said neither of you had played um her story before this hatches? Nope. No. Nope. So how did you find this kind of this style of gameplay then? Because so, like this is obviously not new to me, but this is new to me. Initially news. I was super confused. As to what the hell I had to do. Because nothing is explained to you. I knew literally nothing going into this. Mm-hmm. I opened the game. And I believe it's like. The opening video is. The woman sitting down. Opening the laptop. And then typing in love. As the keyword. And then that's it. Mm-hmm. I was like. What am I doing? Because <laughs> like. I, I read through the things. I was like. Right, I'm supposed to be looking through videos. I was just, I just, initially, I was so confused. Like, there is... Yeah. How quickly, then, did you, did you kind of get into the groove of it, then? Uh, after I asked in Discord, like, what the hell am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Uh, but, like, I think three or four videos in, I was like, I get it. I get what I'm doing. Yeah, so like it's relatively pick up and play. Like, yeah, it's a bit, and it's a definitely an obtuse kind of control scheme. It's, supposedly, it's, it's obvious. Like, game. it's obvious what you need to do, aka watch videos and take yeah. notes. Mm-hmm. But it's not obvious, like mechanically, what the end goal is, because it yeah. says in the PDF that like, oh, agents have to like look at these videos and then like make a case. But you're not ex- but you're not told until I'm gonna assume after five AM, which I didn't get to, that I believe there's like a new option that comes up. Yeah. Where you can like submit videos mm-hmm. or something, right? Is that so mm-hmm. after five AM once you hit the I think it's the five AM mark, she puts another USB in. 
No. And it boots, okay. it boots up a program that purges the videos, but uploads your case. Yeah. So it basically it deletes all the evidence that you ever had it. Oh, okay. And then, so it's one of it's it's. We'll maybe get into this a bit more of the story, but then like maybe sends a bit of a meta story sends a it, copy yeah. of like your findings to the press. I think it is. It sends yeah. a copy of your findings to someone or something. They're just uploaded to a source. They actually don't say where it's oh, going. Okay. It's just uploaded to a source. Um, yeah, it, it, it's. I say so. I'll obviously ask you the same question. I like kind of you hadn't played her story before this. So when you initially got thrown into it, how did you find it? So I like getting into it was fine because I understood like the premise mm-hmm. of her story before. It was like yeah. you watch videos and you're trying to solve a mystery, quote unquote. So th- so this is what I would ask you then, Hans. Is that in her story? Yep. Do you know what the case is? No. Okay, so you're literally blind as well. Yep, so it, it opens up very similar, uh, similarly, uh, which is you, and it's it's almost beat for beat the same. So you're at a computer, there's a slight flicker of light, and you can see you're a female reflection in the the, the, the monitor of who you are. Um, and they type in the first keyword to kind of get you rolling, and that's it. They, you are left your own devices. Okay, um, which... I, it's kind of interesting because I, I I think uh, I would I be someone who would complain that like games are very handholdy these days, but I yeah. feel like typing in love into a search engine and being like go, you're just yeah, like that, that <laughs> was, yeah. it's like what? Huh? In fact, let's try this right now. I go to Google Love and see what pops up. You going to Google Wikipedia. Love? Wait. Yeah, uh, that's Wikipedia. Of course, it's Wikipedia. Of course it is. <laughs> the second one is Love TV series. On Netflix, uh, uh, there's porn. There you go. Google Love, guys. See what happens. <laughs> well, like one thing I really disliked um, about the videos. Can I talk yeah. about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it is a yeah, gameplay yeah, thing. Yeah. Um, as much as this can be called a game, yeah, yes, it's, it's a gameplay thing. I hate how the videos are. How you control the video. Mm. Oh yeah, navigating. Yeah, like, it's, rewind it. so. Yeah, it's an- what I like about the thing is that so Alex uh, said that the very when he very first started, he was like, "Wait, do I have to scroll to the end of a video if I want to see the start?" Right, and obviously, you know, the whole point is that you're not supposed to watch all the video, right? Quote, like, not necessarily, right? You're supposed to like find the keywords and then like focus on the important parts. But yeah. you know, sometimes you do want to see the start of it, right? And so yeah, for let, context, yeah, yeah, right. And so let's say you, there's a four minute video. And your keyword puts you at the three minute mark. And you're like, mm. well, I want to see what the start of it is. And you're like, <laughs> click and holding to the left for it to fast forward. Mm-hmm. Like, because to my knowledge, I don't think there is a key binding for it. Because I started no, just like hitting stuff on the keyboard no. earlier today. Um, I'm like, <laughs> if you think about happened. it, all the things on a computer that play videos has a search bar, like a time bar in it that you can yeah. like click in. Yeah. Why didn't this? Yeah, like that's so. What's kind of interesting is I I read um whenever I was doing some reading on this game, like someone sort of said like, oh, after you finish the game, you can actually watch. If you go into the files, you can find all the videos, obviously, and mm-hmm. I and you can like essentially watch them side by side, right? Which yeah, it's best and this is thing which I noticed today, which I really thought would be really interesting is if I'm watching a video, um, I don't necessarily. What I would love to do is be like, okay, I'm going to open this video in like a small window. And then I would love to like, and like, you know, if I know that this other part of the video is like the other half, I would love to play them side by side, like in game. Right. Mm, and, yeah. and, just, and just to like, you know, add that bit of like, oh, I find this. And so, and this all makes sense. Cause do you know how many videos there are where like essentially one character is the main speaker and the other character whose video you're watching is just sitting there. Oh my God. So. <laughs> The the guy in it, the agent, David. There's yeah. a, I think there's a six minute video of him lying in bed, going uh huh, <laughs> and nodding his head. And I was sitting, going, "He's gonna say something." Why? He's gonna say something. What? <laughs> what? And I, because it, I think it put the keyword I searched put me in like 
the thirty the second. So I was sitting there going, "There's six. There's six minutes to this." <laughs> and so I was like, "He has to say something. I need to get the next word because like I was hitting, a, I was hitting a wall at this stage because I was like, because I hadn't clued on to the cam girl side of things. So I was like, "What the hell?" And it was just, <laughs> just him lying in bed going, "Uh huh, yeah, yeah." I was like, "Oh, why?" <laughs> Imagine being that guy. As I well. know. <laughs> like imagine, like okay, so here's your direction for this. Uh, so someone's talking to you, uh, and that's that's your direction. Someone's talking to so, you. Someone's telling you a story for six minutes. But yeah, I, like I, um, I would be curious to know. I, I assume that I would hope they recorded it like simultaneously. I would hope so too, because it feels like it would be kind of odd. It would be odd to direct right oh. to like. Be like, okay. You say that, but like, this is this could easily be using my vast media knowledge from the one year I did in the <laughs> film and TV. Um, I imagine this, the. I would say they've probably started this with like maybe one person. So I imagine uh, David Smith, I believe, is the main character's name. Um, maybe they they got him and they recorded all his stuff and then they played that video to the other to another actor or actress who is then re- reacting to him. Um, yeah okay fair maybe like I'd say it's possible or like they could have just literally fucking done it on discord and screen grabbed you know no, they could have just um, like had someone read the lines yeah so what I did was after I completed it because I kind of wanted to have a much more thorough understanding of the story I actually went and googled on or well searched on YouTube and there's actually so many videos dedicated to actually putting the stuff split screen video split screen so it looks like a Skype call and it's so much easier to follow and it's so and like some videos as well put it in chronological order so it tells an actually fluent coherent story and you can follow the beats in the proper order so you're not kind of having a oh yeah well that happened so yeah this is why this happened um so i do recommend that i'd say it's really if you're if you want to get the full picture of the telling lies story i um, i got the full picture but in a really messed up order (laughs) because i went from the love video to him basically joining that uh, like going undercover mm-hmm. to him wanting to blow up a bridge <laughs> to um, him then basically he met the like started dating the girl so I like ah, kept yeah. jumping back and forwards in time which yeah. is the whole point, right? Like that's yeah. That is that like that is a part of the I suppose the puzzle aspect yeah. is you're trying you have to kind of figure out how this stuff is going in your head. Like or like, okay, so this where does this fit and into I, the whole story? And I honest to God, until like the last hour or so thought the cam girl was like a bait. I thought she's her videos are there just to waste my time. Just to add some of that sexy, yeah, sexy I was like, sex sells. Because I, I, I clicked on the first video that popped up from her, and I was like, this tells me literally nothing. So yeah. I ignored every video after that. I mean, to be fair, in my opinion, and we'll get into this in the story probably, it doesn't really add, her stuff doesn't, in my opinion, doesn't add that much. Until the big one. Yeah, but like even then, it's still like it doesn't yeah, tie yeah, into like it doesn't, the it doesn't really him, say much. Like him going undercover and all that stuff to begin with, you know, it's yeah. just he's a bit of a pervert. <laughs> it's probably the best big takeaway from that. Um, also, I, yeah. while we're on gameplay, yeah, you cannot complete solitaire on that computer. <laughs> did you? So did you try? Uh, yes, I did. I actually ended up googling it, and so many people have said. You cannot complete solitaire. Because there's a card missing. You could say that the solitaire was a lie. Oh, there there is like a reason for it. Because it's a lie. No, no, like there it is explained. Someone did explain it as like having whatever number of cards it was is a big analogy into like this whole thing. But not why put solitaire on a computer if you're not going to be able to finish it? <laughs> yeah, just to fuck with you, Alex. That's what. Yeah, like I, I do wish that they like 
played into like it being a desktop. Like I said, like with, like being able to like you know move windows or something, mm. like or have separate windows for videos, and you know make you feel like mm. you're actually using yeah. it all. Um, because it's kind of there just for like a bit of you know, like like it. If you just gave me the search engine, it mm-hmm. would not have changed like my experience with the game. And I think, right? yeah, um, you literally could have, you could have accomplished the exact same thing with a folder and an like on your actual desktop a folder and a hundred videos. Yeah. Uh, like that, that you could have done that with your yeah, game. Yeah, like, like you know, I love the idea of it. I just feel like you know they could have done more yeah. of it. Yeah, and like it, it seems to be like so that game I talked about with uh, the jam bomb did that names still can't remember. Um, I do love the fact that's so much cooler because, like I said, in that game you have the phone of a, you're a police officer, I believe, and you have the phone of a dead girl, and like. People will respond to you. So, like in the their dead girls um chat, like group chat, people will be like, "Oh my God, Maria's online. Maria, is that you? Are you okay?" And like it'll give you choices that you can respond to, like a dialogue tree. And it's like, "Yeah, lol, guys, wasn't actually dead. It was just a sick prank." And all this other stuff. And like that's really cool to me because it's that is playing into the fact you have someone's phone, you know. Whereas this, it is kind of isolated. It's just like you're on a computer. And it's not even connected to the internet because you can't even like, you know, go on Facebook or whatever. <laughs> I think there is so much more. There's so much missed opportunity with what they could have done. I, like, I also feel I don't know if this is like bleeding into another category, but having the woman sitting at the computer mm. and then the eventual ending felt so pointless. Yeah, like that. Kind, that probably is a good segue. Unless anyone else any any sort of other gameplay points they want to talk about, that may be a good segue well, for story. Not really much gameplay to it. <laughs> no. Um, All right. So yes, story, Alex. I completely agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, why the fuck did they not make that? Oh, oh a big... I, uh, do you want to know the ending, Iowa? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Right. So, so I will. Well, hold on, I, I'll give my, do you want my... I'll do the synopsis first. Okay, yeah, have go, go ahead. So, story. David Smith, which is the most generic white guy name in the world, yeah. is an undercover FBI agent who is tasked with, inf- uh, with infiltrating Green Storm, a radical environmental activist group. Along this story spanning two years, we are introduced to his wife and child, Emma and Alba. Ava, a member of Greenstorm, David seduces on his, uh, to help his mission. Mike, his handler. Maxine, a cam girl David uh, pays for long conversations with. And a host of other side characters. Um, so yeah, that's the synopsis. Overall, pretty much what happens is... Uh, I'll let you tell the final one there, uh, Alex. But David, um, pretty much the jo- being undercover causes a strain in his marriage. He ends up knocking up the girl Ava with a baby, uh, which then... Kind of gives the final nail in his coffin uh, with his marriage with his wife and kid. Um, there's a bunch of internal struggles amongst kind of the FBI and CIA stuff, uh, including another undercover CIA agent in the group who David is then a dick and oysts just to keep his own cover intact, which fucking I died laughing to that. I'm not going to lie. It's such a dick move. Um, and then this all leads to the big finale, Alex. Where she uploads the files, deletes all the evidence, walks out the door to see the police knocking on the doors down the hall, walks up to the roof. That's it. And lights a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> that's the ending? So, yeah. That's the ending. The girl it's at the computer uploads. So anticlimactic. So, wh- However, so, there's an epilogue. Yeah, there and is. the epilogue is based on whose videos you watch the most. Yeah, but even the epilogue is, is nothing to so do with underwhelming. But the epilogue is nothing to do with the girl at the computer. That's what gets yeah, me. So it's like this is what this is what pisses me off, right? And her story, in my recollection, her story does the exact same thing. So the idea or identity of who is sitting at the computer could be a massive plot twist. It really could. But, but they I never think, I think the that. whole thing is she's a for, like she's a former agent. Yeah. But like but that's only explained could, because a bit of paper comes up at the end and it's like the thing is these like, are the details f- for blah 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 blah. But why make her a former agent? How much more poignant of a fact would it have been if this was his his 
uh, David Smith's daughter growing up. I wanted to know the truth of. By the way, David commits suicide at the end. I why? I'm not sure if you got uh, that. Yeah, uh, of why? Why? Yeah, her f- so I, uh, yeah. I, I spoiled it for myself. When I, whenever oh, sorry, I was trying okay. to figure out like uh, like how time progresses. Yeah. So um, yeah. So da- so David commits suicide. So like, like to me, blowing is up this- his boat. By the way, that's that's a hell of yeah. a way to go. Well, see, so he blows up his boat, but I think the other side of that is his whole mission was their green storm was going to do some big terrorist attack thing and to stop it from happening they had to blow up a bridge maybe the terrorist attack was blowing up the bridge i can't really remember it's a dumb story but um he blows up the bridge in the process of killing himself that's the kind of the the juxt that's kind of like the hook to that um but like in my mind because it never really well i know it kind of gives a tip but like, it never gives an uh, what the current kind of date is so i was like kind of like why could you not play it that this is actually alba david's daughter and she wants to find out the truth of why her father committed suicide and the parents got divorced and all that do you know like that's a really interesting that could be really cool and like she could be a journalist and could have stolen these files and she's uploading it to her paper or something like that's a nice twist that could have been a nice twist but it doesn't play into it no like the whole like her sitting in the apartment the guy who you never actually see outside of the, sc- the reflection in the screen mm. walking about you never find out what he's about yeah like what he's doing up at like four a.m. Yeah. There's so there is so much more, so much missed opportunity with the meta game here. I think it's the big thing. Like you really like you have this large cast of characters, and like compared to her story, this is a fucking massive amount of people here appear in this. Like her story was literally one person and a disembodied voice from behind the camera, whereas this has, oh god, I don't know, like a cast of just shy. Of between 15 and 20 maybe if you include all the side characters like they clearly up the budget for this so i, I think they need to up the game as well and they just haven't seen haven't haven't seen they have done that that's kind of disappointing um it's it's just i was so disappointed because i i got i think when she put it in the usb i was like right i want to make sure i i've got everything so i started watching more and more videos I mm-hmm. think it was like, I think the time was like half five or something. It was like way past the five o'clock. Yeah. And I was like, right, I think I've got everything. I think I know what happened. And then that ending is just like <laughs> so underwhelming. And you're just sitting there going, yeah. but where's the payoff? Yeah. That's it. Like we, we've talked about kind of satisfying video game endings before. Like, it's different when it's a video, or it's different when it's a movie, because you're like, ah, it's only like an hour and a half of my time, it's not a big deal, it's, but like when it's a game and you've invested, like I said, up, up to six hours of your time in this, you kind of want to walk away being like, oh yeah, that was that was worth my time. Also, so a, a, like, like a ending. mystery game? Yeah, well that's it, yeah. Like, you want the payoff of like, yep, this is case closed, everything's solved, here's like, the wrap up, but yeah, just like, like the only wrap up you get is like a third in the epilogue because you don't see the other two. And there doesn't feel like there's any justice for anyone. It feels like everyone gets fucked over in this. Yeah, and like the the arcs they like they've taken is really strange. Like the cam girl goes back into real estate for some reason. Yeah, it becomes like an author. Yeah. It's just <laughs> So like like literally like so like no character has a happy ending david kills himself the mother and daughter move or travel to some place far away and start restart building their lives which is bittersweet because alba never gets to see her you know her father again all this jazz alba is now has been shagged knocked up and then left uh by david so she now is a single mother having but, to raise but he her left child. her a wad of cash <laughs> yeah but she got pissed she got pissy about it uh, um like maxine then is maybe the happiest of the endings yeah, which is she, she made she, bank. she she went back to her a regular job and um became a an author with with, with i quote writing strong female leads um like but that to me is still not a happy ending by any stretch of the because she still got sc- mentally scarred to the point where she quit her cam girl stuff because david is a fucking psycho stalker dude um, hey, to be fair, she shot I, him. 
Yeah, uh, yes, that's but true. He also turned up got on her. <laughs> yeah, got banned by her. Used to set up a fake account on a same credit card and then stalked her to her house. Um, let's talk about David. Uh, <laughs> All right. Has there been a shittier human being in a, in a video game than this guy? Like, um, it starts off so interesting because you're like, it's like. It's really well told from his pers- like when you're looking at him, like yeah, from the oh, outside like the in to like an undercover agent. Yeah, so like, don't get me wrong. I think the way like when you first are introduced to David, he is he just comes across as just a dude, which is fine. Like you know, it's the st- it's the start of it. He has a job to do. That's all grand. Um, but like by the end of this, all the fucked up shit he has done, like it, like yeah. Like you have, you really have to have something wrong with you. Like you really it, do it, for like the like time. some of those things are <laughs> is just crazy. Like so, let's like like here's a wee list, right? So he seduced that girl Ava to get into Green Storm, yep. right? Um, got her pregnant, abandoned her, and left her a shitload of money. But I don't think she took that. I don't. Well, I don't think so. I don't know, right? Um, he then outed the CIA agent, right? Uh, the other undercover officer, just to keep his own cover intact. So that dude probably dead. Let's just face it. <laughs> um, no, no, I don't think he is. I, I don't think he is. Um, I don't. Is he a CIA agent? I thought he was like it's, a corporate spy. Yeah, I thought, well, I thought I, he was like for a different I, company. They, that's like what do they call it? Corporate intelligence gathering or something? Yeah, I thought he was like I, I, a member of the I, the corporation laying the pipe. Was that yeah. what it was? That, right, that's okay. that's what I thought it was. I just knew he was another undercover dude, so I just assumed it was like CIA like, I thought or something. his whole idea was he would get the information to then yeah. take back to the company so they could like cut off all the protests and stuff. Yeah. Um, it's then also revealed that he shot and killed his current wife's abusive ex-boyfriend, which originally it sounds like it was in self-defense or in because he was defending her. It's then revealed, though, that it was a setup. So he was set, sat out in the car for 30 minutes, allowed him to go in and start attacking his wife. Also, or girlfriend at the time. that rendition of her, like, the her telling that With story the dolls? Yeah. is so creepy. I think that's yeah. actually so good. I, I, yeah, I, it's so well done. So well done. I think that was, like, my favorite video, because that was, like, the first video, or the only video where I was like, shit, man! Like, yeah, this is... Whoa. <laughs> um... And then, yeah, so then he, like, uh, I think that's really the way. Yeah, sorry. So then, yeah, he becomes obsessed with this girl, Maxine, uh, the cam girl, Maxine, where the point to where it really starts off, he is paying her for conversations because he's looking for some sort of, I don't know, therapy, I guess. Um, and then leads to him stalking her to the point where she shoots him in self defense. Um, yeah, dude's kind of an asshole. Just, just putting it like, out there. I never quite understood. Um... So the thing with uh, with Emma, uh, so she's the one who whose who's ex gets shot, gets killed. Yeah, like, yeah. I think that bit's like okay, D- David's a bit a bit of a nut job, okay. And mm-hmm. then I never quite understood because like, obviously you know David is the connecting factor, right, from all this. And mm-hmm. uh, with Ava, is it Ava or Ava? Ava, Ava. Ava. Um, like they mention it in the video with your character. How like oh you know sleeping with people is part of the job, right? Mm, I don't mm-hmm. think knocking them up is, but you know. No. So like at the start of that, it's like okay, fine, and then it's like the whole classic uh, oh getting in too deep kind of thing, and that's like constantly yeah. like hammered in on. But I never quite understood his connection with the cam girl, like. So I I believe it is just a case of it was just like what he did on the side, like he, just like for shits and giggles. So, yeah, like so, so like he stumbled across it was never sexual. No, no, no. Like that was kind of the thing they played into, which was it was never a sexual thing. So it seems to be like he's getting his sexual needs from Ava, but he's getting his emotional needs from the cam girl, which is funny because then it's a reversal of roles. You would assume it would be the other way around, but yeah, it, it, it's kind of a weird thing. Like I, it's th- almost I think beca- the cam girl actually starts. As soon as he moves into that apartment. Do you? Yeah. I think as soon as he's put on that undercover job, that's when it mm-hmm. starts. Because I found cam girl vid- like videos from 
basically the start, like 2017, mm-hmm. I think it was, like the earliest. Uh, it, it's a kind of a weird thing, because like... Um... <laughs> I he kind of so like, I think he, like it, 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 but like why like I, I I don't see the thing of why he why does he go away or why does he like fair enough he sleeps with uh, Ava because he wants that's part of the, part of the mission part of the job yeah but like I don't get why he then starts to go to the calm girl for like emotional fulfillment because like his wife is never unsupportive like I, yes there I is think... like, there there is a strain on the relationship because of the long distance that's 100 percent. but they never it never seems they never seem that frosty with each other if you look until... back see once you like figure out their relationship near the end if you go back to the old videos she mm-hmm. actually drops a lot of hints because like uh there was a phrase in his suicide video Mm. that she says in one of the earliest videos between them and it is like the the hindsight thing is so well done and it's so Uh, obvious she's being so cold with him so i think the cam girl is because he doesn't have like a cheery relationship with her mm -hmm. like they're just she's just so cold with him so do you think but like it's kind of weird though because like because like if you think about it all the good interactions between like him and his wife are when the child's nearby. Oh, uh, yeah. If it's only those two, it's very cold. So, like, and even like her cutting him off when he's talking to the child in the early videos, like, oh, it's your bedtime, time to say goodbye to daddy and stuff like that. It mm. is like she is cutting him off. Yeah, there's a video which I watched. I think it's actually one of the near the end ones. Um, and the video is it's it's David talking to the to the child, and yeah. then uh, Emma comes in and finds that and like snatches mm-hmm. the phone or whatever away and walks down the corridor and says like, "You can't you can't sneak back into her life." Or something you can't sneak back yeah. into our lives, or something like that. Like, there's very much. Uh... But is that not really like to me? Like, so it's obviously a, it's a span of two years. Like, I assume like tensions are obviously going to get heated because like you're you know you're doing a job for two years and you're away from your family for two years. But like, I don't know. Like, it's like I think Alex does have a good point. Like, you know, it's clearly there's a lot of subtext once you get further along into the videos and you go back and rewatch some of those old ones maybe there is that good subtext to it i did love the part where because like it, it doesn't really give a a time frame for when the abusive ex broke up with the wife and when they kind of killed them together or like because it seems to be they were kind of in on it um like she, i think the exact words were you looked like you were more scared of me than him and I was like, so did she like, was she so scared in this relationship with him? That's why she married him. Yes. That's why she had his yeah. kid. Yeah. Like, you know, like, is that, that, what, that's, is that, that's basically what leads to, yeah. Cause yeah, she, she drops like hints about that death. Yeah. Like, I think it's the, one of the, the kid's birthday party mm-hmm. and there's like an, like an activity going on and she goes, she just stares at the camera and like really weirdly says clean kill. And then that's used to describe the ex's death by him. Yeah. He's like, that was a clean kill. Oh, yeah. She, she picks video. up like a toy, like, like yeah. suction cup pistol or something. Like, And it's just like, oh. <laughs> uh, I, I do think the acting overall actually is very good. I would agree. Like, yeah. I, like, consider, like yeah. considering there is, like, they've had, they had to make do with, uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. I do think the acting is very good. I, the only person I recognize from it is the wife because she was from season nine of Scrubs. Uh, she did. She was the new. Oh, that is after her. Kind of, oh, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. So that's the only one I kind of recognize. But um, yeah, no, honestly, like I think it's. Uh, I think like the overall the acting is fantastic. I think. I think the writing's did, like, really good. I think the writing's good, and they they do well with. Um, using kind of a cliched narrative so that I, I, I why you said like you know it's kind of cookie cutter oh in too deep um because whenever you're doing undercover undercover cop story that's always usually where they go with it um and i think they do i think it's it's a very basic story but it has really nice moments of kind of 
he he is in too deep, but he. I don't think that's what the issue is with him. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, being, being in too deep is not why he's being a dick. He's just a dick. Because his final suicide note is... Um, he, he says, like, he doesn't want his daughter to remember him as a bad man. But it's very much clear at that point, this dude is just a bad guy. Like, he doesn't see himself as the villain. And he's not a stereotypical villain. But he does bad things. He does really bad things. So he's really, you know, not... Like, you know, Ava is like, okay, so she's a, an eco-terrorist, but she's not an eco-terrorist, as far as I'm aware, does not hurt people. They just kind of sabotage pipelines and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> My favorite video is still the one where he, like, walks into that meeting. It's like, okay, guys, we need to blow up. <laughs> we, need, we need to bomb this thing. And everyone's like, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Yeah. It's like, slowly roll there, buddy. Um... So yeah, I do think like the story overall is, and you can kind of has to be with like an interactive story, I suppose. Like, it has to be good, <laughs> otherwise, yeah. You're, that's the, like ninety percent of your game down the drain. Oh, just what, just one uh, passing comment about the characters. Yep. Except for I, I say ironically, uh, except for the cam girl, everyone is horny mm-hmm. as fuck. It, yeah. Right. right? <laughs> but, it really sub. It really does subvert expectations. That doesn't. It? Um. Oh, also, before you move on to the next section, mm-hmm. IY, Hello. I want you to Google the ending. I want you to get a video of the oh, ending. Oh, the video ending. Oh, yeah. And I want you to watch it and give us your live reactions. Nah, okay, let's see. Let's just because I believe it's only a minute or two long. It depends if it like does the final suicide note story as well. Uh, all endings merged. Oh, that's all the epilogue. That sounds fucking complicated. Oh, uh. I feel like there's a lot of. Oh, wait. Oh, I see a card over there. Ending one. Is that what it is? I see. Oh, is it this one? Upload complete? Okay. Alright. Can I see a drill? Oh, yeah, that's right. I see glitchy screen. Are they, are they drilling the laptop to, to destroy yeah. it? Okay. Yeah. Alright, they drill the hard drive. Alright. Like, at least turn off the thing whenever you do that. Like. No, 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 <laughs> no. no. Alright, so... Okay, she's got her sick leather jacket walking away. Getting ready for a jump scare. There's a... Wait, what? Oh. Oh, for some reason it said telling lies there for like a second. Okay, FBI knocking on doors. Yep. Uh, what do you call this character again? Uh, Jan- Car- Janet or something? Oh, no, it's it's Ka- isn't it Karen? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, Karen, I remember, Karen, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They go, to, they go to the roof. It's a, it's a beautiful morning. Or late evening, one of the two. <laughs> She's looking around. Oh, she pulls out a pack of cigarettes. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> She's lighting the cigarette. Oh wait, sorry, it's early morning, right? Cause it's past five a.m. Oh, she. Takes a breath and boom, written by Sam Barlow. <laughs> like, what is that? Case ending? closed. <laughs> it's such an underwhelming end. It really is. Like, I get it's supposed to be like an ambiguous ending, but like, fuck me, give us some closure. Like really, really, please do give us some closure. What's the um, um? So what's what's the whole thing about like the FBI people being there at that time? Is that to do with this case, so, or is it to do like because, it's but, a shitty neighborhood? So, no, it's, so that, she stole the hard she stole the yeah. hard drive from the NSA. So they're trying to get the hard drive back. Oh, okay, okay, that's what it is. And now she's just chill on the um, roof, being like, "Aha! I know everything." 
Well, she destroyed it and uploaded it to somewhere, so you assume that, like, wherever she's uploaded it, she's done what she needs to do. Um, and there's nothing else to do but, but like, smoke. But, like, what is there, in, what is there really, like, in, incriminating on that to anyone else? Like, the FBI sent someone in, in, undercover. As far as I know, that's not illegal. Well, I think if it's, it's his if, activities if it's, if it's and his confession to, like, killing someone and yeah, he's, his... It would just... It would just it would, it would give a direct goal if you knew who that person was. Like, why is she looking for this stuff? Like, so that's why. Like, that's why I think like if they somehow wrote, wrote, wrote it that was his daughter, it makes so much more sense because you'd be like, all oh, right, she's looking for the truth. You know, but how would she have like the it. hard drive and she could have stole it. Like, if she's a journalist, she, the writer is a journalist. She could have stole it, or like you know, you could have this character. Like the the Karen leak it, basically like hand it over since she's clearly the one that's taken it. Yeah. Just have her hand it over to someone relevant to the story instead of like another colleague. It's like, oh yeah, you're going to love this or something like that. Yeah, like I don't know. It's just it seems so dumb to not have this amazing meta thing. Maybe maybe there is. Maybe there's like something more missing. But like I've looked for a couple I've read a couple of things on the game and no one seems to really get who this woman is and why she's done this. So so, so there's no motive um, for this, not the issue? Not not okay. that I can see. No. Yeah, no, that is kind of odd. Um maybe someone email Sam Barlow there and <laughs> figure it out. Um anything else before we move on to our final category? No. No? no, guys. Category three: What makes a good FMV game? So FMV games are a bit weird. They're very niche. They are just weird as fuck. Let's be honest. But they have kind of made a bit of a resurgence recently. Like between Late Shift, between uh, Contradiction, between Roundabout, between this game, between um, uh, her story, they are making a slight resurgence. Resurgence. Um, but what makes a good one? So, like, all these things are quite high profile, and f- they're all very different in the sense of they're all kind of different games. Like, her story is different from Roundabout. Uh, Telling Lies is very different from Contradiction. Um, what what are the kind of... If you look at what is a good FMV game, what do you... What springs to your mind? So I think one of the let's, let's call it advantages, although it is also a mm-hmm. limitation um, about an FMV game is that usually you are following the perspective of a singular character, right? Usually, mm-hmm. usually, and unlike say a typical game where you know how like there's always that cutscene where you pan over to the villain's base. And you find out some kind of nugget of information that your character would not know, right? Yeah. And so it's kind it's kind of interesting how you know if if the writing is good enough, it it is it can feel more satisfying because you are using only the information that your character has. Yeah. Um. So I think that's I don't I don't I know it's not quite what you asked, but like I think that's the yeah. The positives of a yeah. Game. I think it's, for me, one of the big things that I think an FMV game needs to do to be good, it's not take itself too seriously. Like, so if you look, like my favorite games that we've kind of done would be Contradiction, because I get it's kind of a joke. Yeah. Whether it means to be a joke or not is is completely a different argument, but. I feel like for a game, and even roundabout as well, it can't take itself too seriously. Like, even the people who are doing it need to realize, like, guys, like this is going to be a bit silly. You kind of need to know this is going to be a bit silly because FMV games, like, even just as a look, are quite silly looking. The idea of like, if you think back to like kind of what they were, like all those old movies where like they had live action and cartoon and the same thing. That's kind of what FMV is in a game sense. You have the game UI and stuff with this live action feed to it, you know, characters and stuff. It can't take itself too seriously, a big thing for me. Um, I feel like if you try to be too serious with FMV, you end up somehow looking more goofy than you did before. So Nick and I played a a click uh, a point and click game on the channel many moons ago. 
Uh, oh, what's it called? It has like a really grossy rape scene in it. It's like in a bathroom, and like, but like the acting is so terrible, it takes away from any seriousness of what it's supposed to be. Oh, I can't even remember. Future Hats put it up. Put a put a link to that let's play right now. But the problem is with that again, they didn't. They took it so seriously. Like, it's supposed to be this big horror thing where like they're in this mansion and this the the husband gets possessed over time, kind of like The Shining actually. And they just took it far too seriously. And then you end up just laughing at it instead of laughing with it. And then that kind of takes away from your enjoyment a wee bit. So I think F and V games need to have a good sense of humor about them. They need to have a hook. Yeah, that would like, be a good. That's one the that, big yeah. thing for me is like. There has to be a reason why it's FMV. Yeah. It needs to do one thing and do it really well. Yeah. Because if you try to do an FMV game where like everything's just okay, like, you're too busy looking at the fact that it's an FMV game. Right. Contradiction. Yeah, 100%. Brilliant. Love it. Late shift to it an has, extent because you're... But like, like the this slow chaos building in late shift is... Uh, the intrigue in this shift, I would say, is the the hook for me. Yeah. Like, I think your contradiction is a great one because it has it's got that system, the contra- contradiction system, whatever you want to call it. It does that. It does it pretty well. Not great, not spectacular, but does it well enough that it's solid and it's your base and everything is wrapped around that. Uh, late shift, I kind of agree with, but it's just kind of a like. It's more. It's, it's more to- of an interactive movie. <laughs> Uh, yeah 100 percent. but i think like it's 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 choices and how open it actually can get yeah is what makes it impressive and uh, then obviously like, with this one like the the whole like you search through one-sided conversations like yeah. same with her story yeah so it's like it's the ui to it that's it's one big hook yeah so i 100%. feel like fmv games need to have that one hook but then they need to have like really good writing mm-hmm. and the acting it doesn't need to be the best acting. It just needs yes. to be uh, relatable to the story. Like, mm-hmm. even if the acting's god awful, as long as it's reasonably well placed in like the universe of the game, mm-hmm. you can probably get away with it. Yeah, like, uh, what's that shooter? Wavy Tube Men or something? You know, where like. Oh, Star Ship Troopers? No, no. So it's like, uh, it's like a re- on rail shooter, and you start off in the West, and then you time travel. <laughs> so that, and it starts off as like a really standard on the rails FMV shooter. Um, is it like something McGraw's, we- the attack of the Wavy Tube Men, or something like that? Um, but yeah, so it like starts as like a, a standard Western on the real shooters, and you pew pew. And at one point, a DeLorean just comes in through the um, comes into the shot, and then you start getting attacked by like space pirates, and there's wavy inflatable tube men and dinosaurs and all, and it just takes this absolute left turn. But I think that covers both bases of my point and your point, which is one, it doesn't take itself too seriously because it's got fucking wacky inflatable tube men in it and two it's built around that one hook of it being an on the rail shooter um but the acting in that as well it's really dumb so like uh what there's at one point you like throw a st- you shoot a stick of dynamite or something into a bar and the dude comes out covered one of the, like a guy comes out with like a cigarette exploded and like he's covered in like dirt and he just looks dead pan into the camera and goes got a light and then collapses like it's really that kind of really cheesy campy ridiculousness but again the acting plays into that because that's it's a very much a comedy game plus directing is makes up like nine tenths of like whether acting is good mm. like the best actor in the world could like sit down in front of a camera and if the lighting's shitty the camera's shitty everything is shitty even the best actor will still look not great anything else for what makes a good FMV game. I think Alex said it on the head when he said, like, it needs to have just the purpose. Right? Yeah, instead of just making an FMV yeah, game. Because um, it's because ch- it's cheaper than making an actual <laughs> game. Yeah, probably. But, uh... Yeah, I think that's, like, the main thing. Mm. Or, else, yeah. or, else, or, else, or else I'd rather just watch a movie, right? 
at yeah, the end of yeah. that. I, I guess that's the real thing. Is like, would this game have been better if I was just watching a movie and just seeing everything unfold? I like there, uh, there's late shift makes me feel like that. I feel like I would love to see a, a late shift movie. But it, it, it kind of already is, though, right? I know it already is, but like I feel like if it's so well written and so well produced, because like that was really like that was some high quality shit. Like in terms of like the production value of it, high quality. I would love to like see like a proper kind of sit down movie for that. You know, if they actually like decided, yeah, here's some open endingness to it. You know, but we're going to decide what which ones you selected. I think be really <laughs> At the cool. cinema, you vote before you go in. Like, what ending <laughs> yeah. you want? I th- uh, that's I how you get people to visit cinemas, that. guys. After the, I think we, uh, I think we mentioned that actually before when we did late shift, where like everyone has like a vote button, and then it, it pauses for like thirty seconds, and everyone has to vote. That'd be sick, actually. Um, yeah, it would, uh, it would, it would be, be pretty dope, wouldn't it? And then you know uh, you go in the uh, second time, see, like, and then everyone votes <laughs> like the same thing again. You're like, fuck, I've already seen this. Ah, come on. <laughs> Uh, so that's that's twelve points down the drain for five. It's sake. like uh, now, guys, you have to go after three p.m. Right? That's 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 when yeah. we get this ending. That's when these kind of people come out. You know, pre- yeah. before nine o'clock, it's watershed. All the kids are out. You can't be, you know. Yeah, yeah, that is a very good point. Um, okay, let's wrap this shit. I up. am curious before we do okay. that. To see where FMV games go in the world of VR. Oh, yeah, that'd be interesting. Because, like, there's so much you could technically do. Mm -hmm. You could have, you could actually be in the perspective of the person you're playing in an FMV game in VR. I don't know how far away that is, like, being able yeah, to like you're, do you're, that. You're kind of in, inserting yourself in the film almost. Yeah. yeah. Well, I I have always maintained the philosophy that FMVs are graphically the best best graphic graphic games in the world because the whole point of getting better and better graphics is to make things look realistic, and nothing is more realistic yeah. than an FMV game. Because I know so, uh, there are. Like peace building things using VR to record videos of like survivors and stuff of conflict, mm-hmm. and they use VR to put people in their story. So I Oof. am curious how VR will be used in FMV games going forward. It is very intriguing to me. I feel like FMV would, or sorry, VR would just would be either like one of two things. You're either going to be a disembodied ghost. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. where it's, or like you are like essentially an extra in the film, uh, which doesn't work if like it's like a two character scene, right? Like if two characters are having sex and you're just watching it, then you're just standing <laughs> there, like that's kind of creepy, right? Right. That's kind of- I'm gonna let you know this. I'm pretty sure VR. Oh point yeah, is yeah. A I'm, thing. I'm, I'm sure, um, but like, not that I would do um, such things. Or it would be a, like I feel like an on rails thing. Mm. Where where you're you're pretty you're pretty much just like it's a point of view film almost and you're literally in the point of view of the yeah character. like you, you, but you, you can't you can't control anything it's just the headset yeah, it, yeah it's like whenever you're stuck in like cutscenes in video games right where you can only move the head right or yeah. um if you're on Google Maps and you're on Street Viewer mm. and you can like see all around you but like imagine if like yeah. everything else was still moving right that kind of thing um yeah. I don't know I, I just, okay here's my hot take. I think VR is yeah. like overhyped. <laughs> Personally, yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I, I I would not say it's overhyped. Like I I do not see it as the future of gaming. Like I don't think, but I think it is a neat gimmick, especially like compared to where we have come from with VR. I think it is a neat gimmick, and the games that they are making for it are neat. Um, like that Half Life Alex. Oh yeah. Uh, game that looks fucking amazing i think that is that is what the future of vr gaming needs to be that is a fantastic looking game that not even just a fast fantastic looking vr game that's a fantastic looking game fuck your heart <laughs> 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 um yes so final opinions nick always goes first right yeah 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 yeah, yeah, knows, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. um so i think telling lies is i think it's fine um, I think it's some really interesting story 
um, that you think is going to go the generic direction, but a couple of really amazing interesting moments that subvert expectations takes what you would expect to be a pretty average story to very good story um the problem being you don't you're never unless you play this 110 times or doing a walkthrough you're never going to see the entire story on your first playthrough um you'll see enough of it to get the gist but it's the gameplay quote-unquote aspect of this game i think lets it it doesn't even lets it die it just holds it back like I think her story balanced it a lot better because it wasn't as long, so it didn't become as tedious. Whereas this game is longer, so the gameplay effect you kind of get, you do kind of get a bit fed up with it. Uh, so, I I think it's grand. I think it's a good story. Watch the YouTube video <laughs> instead. Uh, Alex, so I think it's really well written, and the acting is also really good. The ending is just the biggest letdown for me. And apart from that, I would say this is an amazing game. But because it ends like that, I I struggle to say it's an amazing game. I would say it's a good game with an interesting gimmick. But like the ending just lets it down so much. I why? Go watch a movie. I feel like, <laughs> like what 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 we said earlier about like oh acting's great, you know the, even the writing's really good, but it's like, do you know what also has those things? A film, movie, movie, right? TV yeah. shows, yeah. And a movie is not six hours long. Yeah, right. You think yeah, how true. many episodes you could you could binge in the time it took you to scan through all these videos? Yeah, you right. But yeah, like, it's not bad though. That's well the thing. It's, no, it's, it's just it's that there not, are better alternatives. Not. Yeah. Um. It's like it's like this guy. What the fuck's his name? Uh, Sam Lar. What the fuck's his name? Sam Barlow. It's like he wanted to be a filmmaker, but was never quite good enough. Or he needed to get his foot in the door, and so he thought, "Fuck it, I'll make games." Oh, these films Did have it. a good payoff. Most of them, anyway. I reckon he's probably like it's a relative like it's a quite a small team I think is his team. It's like Sam Barlow, Annapurna Interactive, and Bumblebee Studios or something. Like I think it's like I doubt it's probably. I imagine the cast of this has probably got more people on it than the development team for it. Mm. But like I, I feel like the production of this, I don't okay. I, never, I don't want to of this game right. But like the thing I don't like about it is how it's the game. Because it, mm. yeah, it it just doesn't add anything, in my opinion. And there is some cool settings, but again, like you might as well just watch a film, which is a shame because I feel like the 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 writing and the acting and like the directing, like that stuff is great. It's just you know we're here talking about video games and you know as a video game, <laughs> it. Is, but no, it is, it is a good point because like, it, it, like, where is the gameplay? Like, and we talked about it very early on. Like, what's the ch- gameplay is supposed to have a certain amount of challenge to it? What really is the challenge of just looking for words, keywords, yeah. key, looking for words? It's a word search. That's what you're doing. It's a word search with a really terrible UI. <laughs> yeah. So overall, a good story with some questionable gameplay choices. What what does Nick, what's the Nick, what's the one Nick always says? Mixed mixed mi- reviews. Mixed feelings. Yeah. Mixed reviews. Hills and valleys. Uh, yes, good good story, questionable gameplay design, possibly. Um but that's not all. Because the spookiest month is upon us, gentlemen. And it is IY's turn to pick a game. October. What we gonna play, I why? Okay, so I I know you guys like spooky games in October. No, well, yeah, in October, but I don't like a spooky um, game. I don't really like <laughs> spooky games, but you know what is kind of spooky? Hell, right? So and it's hell pretty is That's pretty the, spooky. You could, you could argue that is the spookiest place you could ever right? go. Right, <laughs> and so you know since like. This game that we just played wasn't didn't have a lot of meat to the game. Yeah, I've picked something mm-hmm. where it's all game. 
So by Super Giant Games, I have picked right. for the month of October Hades. Here, okay. And here goes the keyboards all clacking to see what Hades is. No, 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 no. No, no. I have not heard of this. I, I think I've heard of it. I just haven't played it. It's just, you know, the, the Bastion trans- transistor people. Uh, oh, and I, I, probably ten, my favorite game studio. Yeah, and I, I know, like, you know, that, that studio, like, holds a lot of weight in this group. So I, I thought, it, it, ma, this is just straight up more Bastion, isometric slashing. They just have a game and they stick to that, don't they? Hey, man, did you not play Pyre? <laughs> <That's>, I, <laughs> I didn't actually. That's know. the one game I didn't. I didn't play. Because let me tell you, it's basically a sports game. Uh, Super Giant Collection, Hades, Bastion, Transistor, Pyre, and then, and then all the soundtracks, which. <laughs> I own all the soundtracks because they are probably the best soundtracks in video games these days. My god, I, I And it's a current game. Hey, man. It's released I, September 17th. I, I, I've owned that game since early access, so it's, a, it's about time. Yeah, I got it. What? Start of the year? It came into early access, didn't it? It's, it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. But it's... Uh, yeah, but no, yeah, we'll talk about... That kind of stuff later. Early access for you. Thumbs up. You can date Medusa's head. Hell, well, let okay. me tell you, Hans. <laughs> oh, God. That's yes. all I've been doing. I've been simping for Medusa. Or Dusa, as she's called. <laughs> I love the fact that one of us has finally worked the word simp in the, uh, <laughs> the bash for the episode. I hate how that's a word these days. Yes, <laughs> simp. I, I, like it, it just kind of came out of nowhere, and now like, it's, it's just one of those like terms that comes up by, and people use it for everything, right? Yeah. Dude, you know why you're saying that? Because you're a fucking simp. <laughs> 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 no, I think like it's one. It's like one of those words that has just become like, it's like gay. You know, when you were 12 years old, you just say gay, but you did not mean yeah. that, that as homosexual. I mean, that's stupid. That's kind of what simp has already become in such a short lifespan. It's not just, oh, you are a pushover to women and you are will literally, you know, literally pay money to see their vagina. It's literally like, ha, huh, you think feminists should have rights? Simp. Do you know, and like, that's what it's become. It's become that sort of word. Yeah. Uh, hashtag simps. So be, but only for right. Juicer. Yeah, you, but only yeah, for be, we'll, we'll be judging who you simp for in Hades, Hans. And there's uh, only one right answer. Look out for Dionysus. EA's new game. <laughs> <laughs> look out for EA's new game, The Simps Fight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I actually didn't write down how Nick closes this, but yes, so look out in October 2020 where we will be playing Hades, but until then, it is a goodbye from Alex. Goodbye. It is a goodbye from IY. Goodbye. And it is a toodaloo from me. See you next time.